We're going to create a QR attendance sheet for teachers here. This is great to have individual QR codes for each person that they can fill in a Google form with their name very simply and easily. And the key to all of this is how to generate the QR code. We're going to use this quickchart.io slash chart. Uh, this is the URL you're going to need, and I will show you how to use it. And right here, we can see we're wrapping it in an image formula with B1, which is the URL. And then the URL that we want to actually send our QR code to will be added here like this. Now, we're going to set up a Google form for our class to fill out. So we go up to Tools, Create a New Form, and we'll call this Attendance. And here we'll have them fill out their name. We'll publish this so that anyone can access it. Responder view anyone with the link and click done and publish. Now what we're going to need is our URL of our form with a special pre-filled link. This is sort of the trick that we are going to do. So you can click up in the three buttons at the top, right? Pre-fill form. And we're going to need Andy Carter, get link. And now we're going to copy this link to our sheet and we're going to look at it. We're going to see we have the entire URL of the form itself. It says then view form, then it has some information and then it says entry dot and it has this code 940294853 equals Andy plus Carter. So if I change this to Bart plus Simpson and I click on this link, you'll see it'll redirect me and it'll include Bart Simpson right there in the name. And when I hit submit, the cool thing about these kinds of forms is they show me the timestamp of when they've been submitted. So someone can check in at a very specific time and day. All right, so we need to generate this URL for each of our class uh, team. So we'll have a name here and a URL here, and we're going to get a URL code here. For our name, let's put in some names. And now let's get that URL, and we're going to paste it here but we're first going to do equals and in quotes, we're going to put the, the whole URL. Then we're going to delete that name. Just make sure you have that entry dot numbers, then equal sign. We're going to end the quote and then we're going to put an ampersand and we're going to use substitute here. We're going to look for this name and we're going to substitute every space with quotes around it with a plus sign. So put plus sign around in quotes. And so now we have a URL and we can double click here and it'll fill in automatically all of these. You can see this URL includes the name. Now let's generate a QR code. We've got to go back to our info and we have this quick chart here. We can use this exact URL. We can wrap it in image, put the URL in, then an ampersand. So we're concatenating, putting together this URL from quick chart with the URL from our form and we're going to get QR codes. So let's make them a little bit bigger. Let's center the QR code. There we go. Let's make it even way bigger. And we can print this out, by the way. There's a lot of information here. These are pretty huge URLs that we're sending to. And if you want to check on your phone, go ahead right now, pause the video and, and try to go to one of these. And you'll see that it goes to this URL. And this URL is going to have the name already filled in and they can just hit submit. So I'm gonna try it on my phone right now. What you could do as well, instead of substitute, we could use encode URL and just need that A2. And we do need to add and encode URL around B2 as well in the C column. And these should go to different QR codes. You can get this exact sheet in the description below. You're watching Better Sheets here on YouTube. Make sure you check out this video or this video and subscribe right now to get more tips, tricks, how-tos, get more out of your Google Sheets than you ever have before. I'm excited to be making a ton more videos here. Ask me questions down in the comments and I will answer them in future videos. But for right now, right here, one of these videos is gonna be your next Google Sheet.